Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I told you guys I'm gonna keep you guys up to date with my content. So this is a cooking with Masai video. And today I am following a recipe. Um, I'm gonna put her name in the description box. I mean, shrimp, sausage, and mushroom Cajun pasta. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to make today with one of my other teammates. And these are the ingredients that you're gonna need. So first we're gonna start off with the seasoning. So we have seasoned salt. Obey, black pepper, and of course, Cajun seasoning. And then we got turkey sausage because we're trying to be a little more healthy over here. Parmesan for the end, um, heavy cream to make the Alfredo sauce. Uh, I don't really like mushrooms, but this is for the flavor. I'm gonna pick them out myself when I eat mine. Um, olive oil to make sure nothing sticks on the pan. Of course, spaghetti. And then since I'm being lazy, I just got the minced garlic, but if you wanna get fresh garlic, then you can always do that. Um, onion, chicken broth, and fresh parsley. And another thing I forgot to mention, of course I said I'm making the shrimp. So we are actually unthawing the shrimp right now. Um, you wanna make sure that the shrimp that you get are raw and uncooked. If they're already pink, then that means they're already pre-cooked before that. So the fresh shrimp definitely tastes better. They're not as like squishy when you eat them. And just make sure the shrimp are cleaned out, tails off, and it just makes it easier for you when you eat your food. So. Let's get into this video. We're gonna start by first. So, if you're interested in this video, stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. So, right now we are getting ready to, well, actually, we just boiled the water. So, we're getting ready to wait for the water to finish boiling. And then we're going to put the pasta into the water and with that we're gonna add a little salt to the water just so the water so just so the water is a little flavored <laughs> and yeah and we're actually gonna start I look very light we're gonna start um I'm gonna use oh shoot I'm short <sighs> here we go some salt let's get that, that focus because it's still trying to focus on my face Still trying to focus on my face. Really saw iodide, salt, whatever. Kosher salt, that's what I'm using. That's what I got, so that's what I'm using. And then once the water starts boiling, I'm gonna put the pasta in. And while we're cutting um, our onion, uh, parsley, and mushrooms, and sausage. So let's get into it. going to let these cook a little bit. I'm going to turn this down a little bit because it's a little high. It is very high. Damn. Hold on. We're going to turn this all the way down. You know that they are done once um, they start getting a little translucent color. So, we're about to put the spaghetti noodles in because the water is boiling and I'll record Robbie doing that. Even it out, even it out. <laughs> I gotta make sure it's standing up. Straight. Even it out, Bale. <laughs> I see my dad do this all the time. That's all we see with spaghetti. Oh, period. <laughs> so now we're gonna add some oil. That's low enough so you can you don't have to touch it. Mm -hmm. Now I'll let these brown a little bit and then we're gonna add the shroom next. So as I season this, we're getting ready to put the garlic and we already put the mushrooms inside and we're making sure that the noodles aren't overcooking. I'm going to mix the shrimp with the seasonings all together.
And as you're cooking, you know, it's always good to clean up your space. You never want to have too much of a mess. So cleaning up, washing your dishes as you go definitely makes your job easier in the long run. Alright, so the noodles are done. And now Robbie is getting ready to... Don't mind all these dishes. I promise y'all they're not mine. Drain the noodles. And we have our stuff cooking up under here. And next we're going to add the chicken broth. Sorry y'all. We went a little, a little ahead of ourselves. So pretty much last time you've seen us, we just had the shrimp with the sausage, onion, and garlic. Then we ended up adding chicken broth in after the shrimp fully cooked. Um, and then we added um, a half stick of butter. You know, the cheap kind, 99 cents. And then little by little, pour in a tiny bit a time at a time. Stir it up. See, I think I added a little too much at one time. That's why it's a little watery, so he just has to keep stirring it for right now until that thickens up. So, we're in a little predicament, but that doesn't mean that we're gonna stop. Everything was going good, and then I think I poured a little too much chicken broth in the sauce. <laughs> so then, it didn't have that thick, um, you know, like how pasta's supposed to be thick. So, we had to kind of readjust our focus here. So we didn't, we, so you know how we had everything all in one pot, but we didn't want the shrimp and all that to overcook. So that's just sitting with the noodles and then we're just gonna pour the sauce on top of everything once it's done. We're just gonna cook the sauce by itself. It's sticking up right now. Um, so we kind of just had to start over, you know, using the chicken broth, the heavy cream, and then we added a little cheese in there, but the cheese is really for towards the end. So we're just making more sauce right now. It's finally thickening. We, this thing, y'all. You gotta slow it down when you're cooking. We was trying to um, cook it, cook the sauce at like a high temp. And then Robbie, the man with the plan, <laughs> figured to cook the sauce on a low heat, cause you know, it has to take time and it has to thicken up. So why cooking it cooking it fast just wouldn't work. My father always told me, take your time, don't rush the food. Show it that you care. <laughs> Show it that you care. Where it's rough. So <laughs> <laughs> so we finally got it thickening thickening up now. And then we'll be back with y'all once we pour it onto the rest of the goodness. How's it taste? The proof is in the pudding. It's almost gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like my food to be really hot. So, not really hot, but you know, it's just hot enough. So, I just warm mine up again. Let's go. You're not going to see my face. Let's just see. It's weird. It's always weird to me eating my own food. I don't know why. Why? I don't know. I'd be like scared to eat it. It looks like breakfast. So. Anything nasty? Yeah, because I always used to cook in the kitchen and I never would eat my food. Like, I used to be having like hella stuff. Alright, y'all, got some shrimp, pasta on here. A little hot. Mega. Yeah. That's good. The parsley flakes definitely give it that fresh kind of taste. <laughs> but if you don't like parsley, they're not meant to be eaten. Don't put it in there. <laughs> 